Christine Niles. Today's March 17th, 2020. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Here are your latest church militant headlines. An Italian bishop took the Holy Eucharist into the streets of his city to combat coronavirus. On Sunday, Bishop Daniele Donati of the Diocese of Crema in northern Italy led a small procession in the surrounding neighborhood after offering private mass in the cathedral. A number of laity followed at a distance behind, some of them kneeling for the blessing. His action comes a few days after Texas Bishop Joseph Strickland led a Eucharistic procession in his own diocese to ask for God's mercy in this time of sickness. A Lebanese priest flew the Blessed Sacrament over his homeland. Father Majdi Alawi Haq Kurban hired a private plane Saturday and flew over Beirut and other parts of Lebanon, begging God to protect his country from the virus, reminding the faithful, quote, we fear the coronavirus, but we are not afraid of God. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul, close quote. Father Alawi is a Catholic convert from Islam. A French bishop has tested positive for coronavirus soon after a trip to the Vatican. Bishop Emmanuel Delmas of Angers was tested Sunday after displaying symptoms a week ago when he visited Rome to meet with Pope Francis. In a statement announcing the diagnosis, the 65-year-old bishop asked the faithful for prayers. The diocese says his symptoms are mild. The U.S. Supreme Court is halting all hearings in the face of the coronavirus pandemic. An announcement made Monday, the high court said it would suspend oral arguments indefinitely in the face of the public health scare. Six of the nine justices are aged 65 and older, putting them at greater risk of infection and possibly death. This is the first time since 1918 that the high court has been shut down over a flu pandemic. Bernie Sanders is urging the world to treat climate change as seriously as it's treating coronavirus. A Sunday CNN debate, a Democratic Socialist slammed Joe Biden for failing to do enough to help the environment. We started this debate talking about a warlike situation in terms of the coronavirus. And we said we have to act accordingly. You said it. I think you're right. I said it. We have to act dramatically, boldly, if we're going to save lives in this country and around the world. I look at climate change in exactly the same way. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your Church Militant headlines. Please watch the Vortex today. Michael talks about mass confusion. God bless you.